Hello guys, today I'd like to talk to you about creating a theme in Codename 1. So as you can see when you create a default application Codename 1 you already have a theme and the default theme when you click into it doesn't really have all that much. It has the preview right here where you can see your application and it's got all these tabs here for all the different states, contents and which by default includes one thing which means include native ball. Now you'll notice that this means that we inherit the native theme. We can remove this constant or when adding a theme, add a theme without and we'll effectively get a theme that doesn't look like native at all allowing you to do anything you might want. However, that is a very advanced feature because sometimes uh, lots of small behaviors like back button behavior and all sorts of things like that you would want to inherit from the native. So, but I digress. Let's start with the basics. First, you can create more than one theme. The default of creating one theme is really convenient for 90% of the applications, but if you want a, uh, to create a multi-theme user interface, you can just do add a new theme and pick anything from a blank theme to any one of the themes that when you created the application and some pretty unique themes like for instance these are accessibility themes designed for people with disabilities like color blindness and all sorts of other lim uh, uh, sight uh, issues so the we will stay with the current native theme because i think it's a decent default but you can play around with these and create as many as you want and they'll appear here and we have an, an inner theme method that you can override from the state machine base where you can initialize a, a different theme. Uh, so to start, let's just kind of understand what a theme is. Every theme has a default style where you can customize looks that are default for this particular style type. We have four style types. Unselected, which means a component that doesn't have focus. Selected, which means a component that has focus which might not be relevant uh, in some user interfaces where you have a more touch-based user interface uh, that doesn't really show focus as much. And uh, we have pressed, which is relevant for buttons and its subclasses. And disabled, which means if a component is disabled, it will get that style. Besides that, we also have theme constants, which you can see uh, right here. Oh, you can essentially pick a particular constant type and you get usually the documentation for the features of that specific constant and the values that are relevant to it. There are many valuable constants here that, and they are mostly documented in the, in the developer guide where you can read further about them. So that's basically uh, what the theme has to offer. Uh, to understand this, let's try and look here. You see, these the things in bold here are UI IDs uh, that are defined in the application that we're seeing right now. So the application has a title UI ID, so we can pick that. And by default, we inherit everything from uh, the base theme, which is in this case the native theme, but uh, it might be the codename one defaults. So if we want a title to have a different foreground color, we can just override the inherit, uh, inherited value and just type in any sort of color we want or pick it from here and the foreground color changes. Uh, you'll notice that backgrounds won't have any effect because the title in this particular case has a border background. We'll talk about borders a bit more in the next section where we talk about nine piece borders, but essentially you can customize this in lots of ways. I can, for instance, define it as an empty border. And once I define the title, uh, sorry, that doesn't really matter because this border is actually from the title area, uh, in which case the background should work relatively easily. So if I define the background as black and start changing this, to 255 I'll get this sort of background which is nice. Now that's not necessarily what I'd want for a typical application but uh, it defines a background definitely. Now the striped background we have here is actually from the form 
So I can go to the form and say I want an image as my background and I can pick this. Or I can instead add a new image. Let's add a regular image actually in this particular case and go to my desktop folder and pick this image. And now I can select form right here and define this to be tiled. And as you can see, I get I got this image from the leather theme, which is really, really nice. I can use lots of things like uh, aligning it to a particular ASIS, which isn't as obvious in this particular uh, image because it's so large, but you can pretty much place the image any way you want. You can also use gradients and things like that. But generally using images is much, much faster in terms of performance. You can also customize fonts and uh, borders and paddings and margins and alignment and lots of other capabilities right here from uh, theme entries. And you should play around with this tool. And as you can see, it instantly updates the preview. So it's really fun to play with it and see what things have uh, an effect and what things don't have the effect you want and try and get it to work the way you would expect. So thanks a lot for watching. I hope you enjoyed it and that this contributed to you. Watch the next video to understand how to cut nine piece borders, which are really important to create lots of special effects in uh, themes. Thanks for watching.